Hey guys, so as you all are probably aware, Beauty and Cosmetics is one of the biggest verticals for influencer marketing. Now, there are tons of beauty channels on YouTube and Instagram and so on and so forth. However, just assuming that it's not because someone does makeup tutorials every now and then on the channel or, you know, does a brush review or something like that, that their audiences are intrinsically, you know, your target audience, your best possible audience for a makeup tutorial or haul, that type of logic, eh, it doesn't quite check out. Here's why. What we're going to do is pull up audiences across these publishers who are personal interest in beauty products. Right? That's step one. Very simple targeting. Just It's basically just interest targeting. And this isn't based on the channel genre. This is actual data from the audiences. I think I need to make that clear. Second, we're going to type in minor purchases in the health and beauty uh, vertical. And we're going to look for people who bought beauty products in the last six months. And finally, we're going to target people who do who bought these products online. So what we're going to do is online purchases. Health and beauty, beauty products. Now, what you're seeing right now, first data point, interest in beauty products. 32% of Brit's channel is interested in beauty products, and 67% of Keisha's channel is interested in beauty products. Let me go down to uh, minor purchases. 35% of Brit Spaces channel has bought beauty products in the last six months. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, in the last month. And 54% of Keisha's channel has bought beauty products in the last month. Now, here's the kicker. Online purchases. So, a lot of the times when you do influencer marketing, a lot of times they'll have like an affiliate link or a hyperlink to say, hey, you know, if you like these brushes or you like this palette, go ahead and click the link and use my affiliate code and blah, 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 blah. A lot of the times, some people convert, some people don't. However, if you were going for conversion, pure conversion rates, you would want to find people who, whose audiences shop online because those are the people who are going to actually click that link as opposed to wait, wait until they go to Sephora. If you're looking for a way to really close this uh, attribution funnel and, and make it from brand entertainment to sale, straight one, two punch, you want to find people whose audiences shop online uh, and not Harvey shoppers. Unfortunately, only 11% of Keisha's channel are, are shoppers on, have bought beauty products online, and only 8% of Rich Pink's channel says have bought uh, beauty products online. So, here's the thing neither of these channels are purely makeup channels. However, Keisha's channel has a very high percentage of people who are interested in beauty products and uh, have bought them in the, last, in the last month and shop online. So if there's, you know, if I have to choose between the two, obviously I'm going to go with Keisha. Now, imagine these types of, imagine you're, I don't know, L'Oreal or Revlon. And you're working with an agency and they bring you 700 different YouTubers who may or may not have your target audience. How do you choose which ones that you want to work with? If you have a limited budget, each one of these people costs money to activate. How do you properly optimize your spend so that you're getting maximum ROI. Personally, I would go with people who I know are going to actually move from the entertainment to my shopping cart in a one-two punch rather than people who shop offline. So I would go with Keisha's channel because I know that a lot of those people are interested. These are the types of decisions that we're trying to bring to the space. Um, these are things that you can't get from the platforms uh, the, the natively. You can't get this data from YouTube. You can't get this data, this data from Instagram. Um, a lot of the influence on marketing platforms and the influence on agencies. Uh, we're trying to bring this to them as well, but at the, at the current moment, a lot of them are just on, you know, age, gender, location. If you're lucky, you might get quote-unquote psychographics, which is a lot of the times are just based on the channel genre. So they'll say this person, so for example, Keisha is a vlogger. So they say this person's interested in, well, this person's audience is 
are interested in lifestyle, whatever the hell that means. So, again, we'd love to work with you guys soon. Let us know if you have any questions, if you want to find any specific targets, and uh, look forward to working with you soon.